Hey folks, Dave here. Uh, with the holidays coming up, I know we will want to start making some uh, ornaments and other things with our lasers. So Lightburn has a really useful tool called uh, Union. And uh, we're going to use that today. And I'll go through the steps. There's some uh, confusion between Union and Weld, and I'll point that out. And uh, we're going to make a flying witch. In fact, I already made it. Hope you can see it. Um, I, I tested it out. I like to make sure that whatever I'm telling you is uh, is, is working. Uh, the last thing I want to do is give you some bad information. And if I ever do, please call me out. Because if you don't call me out, I'll keep doing it wrong. Okay, so let's make this witch. Go up to the top left and grab a box. Come out to the uh, canvas. Left click. And... Let's just drag it out and drop it. So we're going to resize this to somewhere around 114 millimeters. That'll give us roughly four and a half inches. Be sure the lock is off up top. This little lock here to the left and then you can resize and make it square. Okay, so now we have a 114 millimeter square box. So we want to select it. Uh, and then right click and duplicate. And you want to drag that box out, grab the corner, and pull it back in. So now we have a box. Um, so Union which is right here on the left, will join two objects. So since we're starting with two objects, we have to turn it into one object. Typically, to do that, you would just grab, uh, right-click, and group. But for some reason, that doesn't work with, uh, with Union. I don't know why. I do know what does work, so we're going to do that. So, click one box. Then push the shift button, click the second box, then right click and group. Now we have one object. Okay, so let's go get that witch. Now I got the witch from a, uh, a free site. It's uh, covered under the Creative Commons license, so you can use it any way you want. And I'll drop a link down in the description so you can grab that and a bunch of other stuff to start making your, your holiday ornament items. Okay, which, when it first opens up, it, most SVGs will open up big. Don't just immediately start resizing. Use your mouse wheel to go in or out. Push down on it to move it around. You can grab the corner of the witch, and then when you resize, it will resize proportionately. If you go from the side, the bottom, or the top, then it's going to uh, distort it, which you don't want to do. Okay, so this witch only has to touch the sides. Now you could uh, you could touch the top or the bottom, but after you do this, you're probably going to want to try another one and come back in here and add like a moon or a bat or some spider web, something like that. In fact. I'm planning a video soon to do a layered scene uh, with some type of Halloween scene, so uh, be sure to check back for that. That'll be soon, hopefully in the next couple of days. Okay, so now we need to select this in the same way. We select the first object, push shift, select the second object, go over here to the left and hit weld. Um, I'm sorry, see, almost done it. Hit union, boolean union of two shapes. Click that. Now you have one object. It's already grouped, and we're good to go. Now, we're going to go back, and I'll show you what Weld does to it. Uh, Control-Z is your friend. So learn it, and it will save you some, uh, some headaches. So if we were to select this item, both of these items, and then the weld button over here on the left, our witch disappears. And that's not what we want. So 
We'll control Z out of that. Get back where we started. Select. Shift. Select. And if something is not right with your with your object, the buttons over here will be grayed out. I mean, they're actually gray anyway, but they're not grayed out. So go back and click uh, Union. And we've got our witch. Okay, so let's move her up a little bit. And then we're going to make a little stand for her real quick. I wanted to make this short, but we'll we'll make a stand real quick. So grab another box. Make the stand a little larger than the box you already have. Go over to the left and hit this radius button. Well, first go up top and hit the arrow. So you select, then hit the radius button, then touch these corners. Okay, touch the corners, and then they will round off. It took me a while to get this. Uh, I wish somebody would have told me when I first started doing lasers about this, because I, I didn't know. I was doing all kind of crazy stuff to uh, round off corners. I won't even, I won't even tell you. But it involved cutting them and sanding. Okay, so now uh, we want to make a slot. Now you could you could make a you could make a small slot right here. I'll just do this real quick. You could make a small slot insert. Uh, select everything in the normal way this time. Uh oh. All right, Control Z. Remember, Control Z is your friend. Okay, select everything, and then here's weld. So weld would just put a uh, a slot there. Insert. That's a pretty good thing to know, especially when you start making these uh, making ornaments and stuff. But for now, we're going to make a long slot. We're going to make it just barely longer than the, uh, the witch. And for height, we're going to do 2.7. Now I'm using 3 millimeter plywood, but your laser, if you don't know, has a, a kerf, which is um, material that gets removed above and beyond what you specify. So you tell it 2.7, but it may take out 3.1, 3.2. So you have to get used to your particular laser and know what the kerf is and get used to that. So uh, I've done a video a few days ago. I made the slot a full three, but I knew that that plywood had been sitting in the shop for a while and picked up some moisture. Uh, so be careful how you, you store your wood because it will pick up moisture and it will swell, even if it's only a little bit. Okay, so we have a 2.7 and we're going to move it down here to this and it should snap to center. But to be sure, we're going to select it and we're going to hit the bullseye. Okay, now she is centered. And just another real quick thing, if you drag from the left to select it uh, it will not select notice the the red line it will not select unless you capture everything like so but if you come from the right you get a, a green line and all you got to do is touch it and it'll select that is a that, that is a good thing to know I didn't know that for a while either so okay Sharing knowledge, that's what I like doing. So I hope it's helping you folks out. All right, so now select everything. Make sure you have your, your cut palette set because this is all cut. Uh, this happens to be the settings for mine. It, I've got a 40 watt X tool. There's a lot of settings that will cut, but this is the one I use most often. So that's why I selected it when I picked it up. Okay, I believe that's it, folks. So I really appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, like I said, in a couple of days, maybe sooner, I'm, I'm planning to do a layered uh, scene with, with maybe an old house and some bats and something, but we'll see. And you'll take, we'll take like 
three of these and put them together and make that scene. And uh, I think it's going to look cool. So y'all check back and, and see it. Again, I, I really appreciate you watching. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. Thank you very much.